finally fight her. Oh, oh big oh. right hand! One punch! That is it! Forget about the count! It is over! Hi everyone, I'm Sasha from Women's Fight News and today joining me is Katharina Sanders. Katharina, thank you so much for joining me. No, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, I know, do you like to be called Katie? Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody calls me like that. Yeah, so that's yeah. so. Perfect. And um, what have you been up to? Well, right now um, I've been training quite a lot. Um, so e even though there are quite a lot of restrictions. Uh, we're still allowed to, to train in the gym, luckily, the professionals at least. So yeah, just training in the morning and, and training in the evening as well. And, and just, yeah, I, I keep going. <laughs> Keeping yourself busy. <laughs> Absolutely. Good. Do you have a fight date coming up or not at the moment? No, I haven't. So, you know, it's um, I, I really try to keep up my motivation and I'm really just waiting, you know, for someone to, to call me and, and tell me when I have to fight. I have been speaking with my promoter and, and they told me that um, if everything goes the right way, maybe in April or something. So I'm crossing my fingers. <laughs> yeah, definitely. How hard is it to keep the motivation when, I mean, especially during these times, I mean, it is a bit strange at the minute with COVID, it, you know, fight dates are few and far between at the minute. How hard is it to keep yourself training like twice a day? The, the good thing is that I really enjoy training. So that's that's not really a big problem for me. I, I really like it. But of course, you know, when you're a fighter, you, you train because you want to be in the ring. Um, and I think the worst part is the uncertainty about the situation, you know, that you don't really know when when you're going to be back. And um, of course, that's a challenge. But, you know, um, once that you're in the gym and you start working out, then everything, you know, is a little bit more easy. And, and I think we are everybody in this situation right now, you know, so I'm not the only one. So thinking about that kind of <laughs> gives you a little bit of relief. Um, uh, but yeah, definitely, you know, sometimes it's like, oh, w w will I, will I be fighting soon at all? Or, you know, will many months pass and I, I've, I will not be in the ring? You know, you, you make yourself a lot of questions, of course. <laughs> I was going to ask what changes for you? So obviously you're training currently. When you get that fight date, what changes in your training? Um, well, right now we... You know, we're doing some particular things that we wouldn't do if if I would have a fight date, uh, such as you know we're training a little bit on on strange and, and things like that. Um, so we don't really train with heavy weights before a fight because then you know um, we train to be more explosive and fast and and yeah, the training is a bit more intense as well um we spar more I, I do spar right now because i'm actually helping a friend that is fighting so that's oh. me that keeps me a little bit motivated as well you know yeah <laughs> uh but you know in a normal case i would not spar that much maybe i would spar once a week or something and before 
for a fight, we do spar two or three times a week. Um, so, so I would say that the training is a bit more intense and of course it's more specific towards the opponent that you're going to meet. So yeah, you, 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 change, you change quite many things, yeah. <laughs> But I suppose this is a good time to be able to work on things as well. I suppose when you've got a lot of fight dates, you're so focused on the opponent and the tactics that at least maybe a positive is you can maybe look at any weaknesses or anything you want to improve on. Yeah, absolutely. That's actually one thing that I always say uh, when I've got a lot of questions about the quarantine and the lockdown. You know, uh, I think those periods are great to to improve things and, and work on things that are quite difficult to work on when when you're preparing for a specific fight. Um, you know, your your mind is in a totally different place. So, so I think it's easier to to improve when you don't really have a day that you have to to work uh, towards so yeah. yeah definitely and your last fight was was it back in november that's right isn't yeah it? Or november very harper yes that's yeah. no, the decision obviously didn't go your way um unfortunately it was a great fight but it didn't go your way the one thing that i didn't quite understand was the stoppage it, it was I mean, I'm a big fan of you both. I really like Terry Harp. I love watching you both fight. I, I really enjoyed it, but I just did not quite understand the stoppage. I thought I'd missed something when the ref called it off. I wasn't, yeah, I thought I'd blinked and missed something happen. What do you, you feel now that you've watched it back? And obviously it's been a few months about that fight. Well, you know, every time I hear people like you saying this, it kind of makes me <laughs> happy on the inside because of course <laughs> I same um, but you know I don't have this kind of personality to, to to protest in that very moment and also you know because I do respect Terry Harper a lot and you know it's not her fault so mm -hmm. um, that's why I, I didn't really make a big show out of it in that specific moment but it, it was a really big shock yeah because you know, let's be fair. Yeah, she she did um, she she did come with a very accurate punch to to the liver, and you know it really hit me. It was precise, um, but you know I was I, I was not taking my knee to the floor, um, and then I, I was covering myself. I was able to move, and in the end I was also throwing punches back. So I was defending myself in you know in, in I was defending myself all the time. And I was coming back to the fight. So when he stopped it, I, I got like in a huge shock. And I think that's the hardest part for me of the whole loss, you know, because mm -hmm. if I would lost, if if my loss would have been on point, it would have been quite different. So, mm -hmm. you know, that that was, uh, <laughs> yeah, it, it took me a time to come over it, you know. But that's life, yeah. and uh, and you know. I think everything has to do with how you come back after a loss and I decided quite quick that I would come back stronger and and you know that that's what I'm working on now. <laughs> yeah definitely because um, like I said I think I mean Terry was ahead on the scorecards but I think I'm sure I think I read in an interview from yourself that you know you said you deserve to finish the fight you know yeah. you've trained for it and it's boxing anything can happen you know Terry had a broken hand even in one round, anything can happen. So for that to be taken away from you must, yeah, must have been quite difficult. So I definitely felt for you after that one for sure. And I was, you know, I'm, I've always been a slow starter. So, you know, I, I start to feel comfortable after after a couple of rounds. Um, you know, I'm also, I'm also one of these fighters that, you know, I, I would really like to fight three minute rounds I, yeah. because I think it would suit my style uh, better. Um, and yeah, you know, when I when I went out in, in, in round nine, I was feeling very, very good. You know, I I was in a great shape. I was not exhausted. You know, I still had a lot of energy. So, yeah, it was. But, you know, we, we can't do anything about the past. It, it is what it is. And, and now the only thing that I can do is just look forward. And that's it. So, yeah. Yeah. And she did a great fight. I mean, she's an excellent fighter. So uh, all my respect to her. Um, and it is. 
that's just you know that's the life of a fighter i mean of course we all want to win i mean if you have a mindset of a champion you, you don't like to lose that's quite normal uh but you know when you meet the best you know you, you have that risk of losing so you know uh, yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, that's it. And like I say, it was a great fight to watch as well. And um, you mentioned then that you'd prefer three minute rounds. And this is a constant, constant argument in boxing, how women only get two minutes and even um, championship fights are only 10 rounds. But why for you do you think women's boxing needs the three minute rounds? Um, well, I think that if we would have, if, if we get three minute rounds, um, I think that our boxing would change quite a lot because, of course, when you only have two minutes, you do have to rush a lot. I mean, you, you do you have to be very active because, you know, that two, two minutes goes really fast. And mm -hmm. if, if you're in a good physical shape, two minutes, it, it's just like this and it's gone. Um, so, you know. I think that's maybe one of the reasons that female fights has a lot of action, but I think it's a little bit because of that, because we know that, you know, 10 rounds of two minutes goes quite quick. It's 20 minutes and it's done. Yeah. Uh, with three minutes, I think um, that we would start to study our opponents quite a lot more like the men does. Uh, we can set up the knockouts a lot better um, and of course we would see more knockouts yeah. and what people want to see in the end of the line so um, yeah that's the reason and, and I think all the women I speak with who are boxers they tell me that they do train three, min three minutes in the gym so why shouldn't we fight three minutes you know um, so yeah, I, I'm always defending <laughs> the three minute rounds. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's and it, also, many people also use, use, use it as an excuse to pay us less, you know, so then we would remove yeah. this. <laughs> uh, um, done an interview with Tasha Jonas just a few days ago and we spoke about the pay. And um, yeah, it, it always infuriates me, the pay with the women and the men. I, I never quite understand it. And that is always a problem is like, oh, well, the women do less than the men. But for me, I always think, well, you still put in the same effort of training. Your camp's still going to be the same time and, and all of that. So I always think it's a bit of a, a rubbish argument when people say that. But I suppose when we get the three minute round, so if it ever happens, then no one can say that. That pay then has to increase, surely. There can be no more arguments. Yeah. Yeah, you're right about that. <laughs> and yeah, I all to be paid a lot more. Sorry? You all deserve to be paid a lot more than than what's happening at the minute, especially for title fights and things like that. It's still far too low. Yeah. I mean, it's quite sad to, to see. I mean, I've seen world champions uh, that has defended their titles many times and they struggle to pay their bills. That's very sad to see. and and um, you know it's quite common to see especially if you travel around the world and, and you speak with the champions that are maybe not from Europe mm. or you not from the United States when you speak with them it's a hard situation um, and you know it's real and, and it, it's just sad that you know just because of the fact that we're women we we get so much less money I mean because it's a quite huge difference. It's not that we're talking about, yeah, we get a, we get, yeah, it's like a slight difference. No, it's it's huge. I mean, we get like this yeah. <laughs> compared to to the men. <laughs> so it's crazy. you think in this day of age as well, that should have definitely improved. I know women's boxing has improved massively. I mean, you were on the show that that was history, really. You know, there was. Yourself um, and obviously Terry Harper fighting for a title, Rachel Ball was fighting for a title, Katie Taylor. So it was such a huge night. So it is making huge improvements, you know, but at the same time, it's still so far behind. 
And it's really strange. And that's why I don't really get the pay, because how can we have an event like what you were on in November and the pay still be so drastic? It just it's a shame. Yeah, and they talked about that, you know, the, I think there was a lot, a lot of viewers. So yeah. it's not that it's not interesting for people. I mean, I think, yeah, it, it was millions of people that saw that that show. So, you know, because that's also another of the arguments that I hear a lot that we don't, uh, that there is not that much interest for for female boxing. But I don't think that's true. It's just that we don't get the same promotion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's exactly it. It's when women are fighting, no one is saying that this isn't good or this isn't skillful. Actually, throughout lockdown and these um, shows Matchroom were putting on, the women's fights I thought were better. They were higher quality. They were more entertaining. So you, no one can argue that people don't want to watch it. But like you said, I don't think you as fighters are promoted enough. Do you think it can change in the future or, or what can be done to start promoting women's boxing a little bit better? I think that is a very difficult question. Um, but of course, one of the things that we could do is like speaking up for ourselves, like all, all the female boxers should should speak about it very openly, like, you know, uh, what we get paid, what we don't get paid, our situation, because that, that helps a lot to, to know how the actual situation is. And, and you know, it's a good way, it's a good start uh, to, to know where we are. And of course, promoters, I mean, they have to, they have to promote the, the female fights in the same way they promote the, the the, the men's fight it's as simple as that I don't think it's that difficult but it's the question is how, how do we get to that point that they really do that yeah and, you know that that's a difficult question to, <laughs> to yes <ask. laughs> uh, so you know I, I just think think we have to keep keep on speaking about it openly you know it shouldn't be like a, a thing that nobody speaks about and yeah. you know more and more uh, female boxer talking about that issue so you know um, and, and also a lot of boxers saying no to, to certain fights because the money is just too low I mean I think that's a good thing uh, of course the disadvantage is that there will always be somebody that will say yes <laughs> for the same amount of money so you know yeah, it's a difficult circle, <laughs> but I, I really hope that we can get out of it. And I think we are in a good way. I mean, I think we, we are in a good way and that things are improving. Uh, but, you know, we yeah, we still have a lot to do yet. So, <laughs> yeah, but it's getting there. I think that's the positive. I think there are changes being made it's, and it's um, there's definitely improvements happening. So hopefully they can continue maybe a bit quicker, but hopefully. Hopefully they'll uh, be getting there. Um, yeah. So I know initially you started in kickboxing, didn't you? And then you've moved over to boxing. So how did that happen? Yeah, I, d I did start with kickboxing. Um, I started with kickboxing and I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, I started training some boxing just to have it as uh, you know, I, I thought it was good for me as a kickboxer to have a good uh, base in, in boxing. And when I did that, I knew my current, my current coach. And I don't know, I was always, I always had more like a boxing style, even though I competed in kickboxing. You know, I was more known for, for my fists than, than my kicks. <laughs> <laughs> I was even pulled off quite many times like you, you have to kick at least you know eight, <laughs> eight round and sometimes you forget that so you might be disqualified once you know <laughs> but the thing I got to know my current coach and and we just you know we, we got really good together mm. and it kind of felt more natural for me mm. so I started enjoying more of the boxing training and um yeah, I think it was like I, I I didn't do my first boxing 
uh, fight before 2012, actually. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Guys. Um, but that was a bit the reason that I, I got to know that my coach, my current coach, and and I I felt that I could develop my boxing a lot more uh, than what I could with the trainer that I had in kickboxing. So I just enjoyed it a lot more, and yes, yeah, the way it was. <laughs> and it's great that so he's still your coach now. He is. Yes, he has been my coach for. 11 years now <laughs> that's so good that's amazing yeah. yeah oh brilliant and i know you were um wbc interim champion weren't you yeah yeah that's it. yeah and uh, you defended that against rachel ball is that correct oh i fought with rachel ball and i did a fight after that because i, I broke my hand with rachel ball so yeah. I, so after that, I had to stop like five months. Uh, and then I had a fight against Monica Gentili, just an eight round fight to come back again. Yeah. My next fight was for the for the WBC in Trim World title. Yeah. That was Brazilian uh, Daniela Ramos. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. And then you vacated that, didn't you, to then go on to fight Terry Harper, is that right? That kind of put me in the mandatory situation. So um, yeah, I waited about one year and then I took the fight with Terry. Yeah. yeah. And then, so you said you fought Rachel Ball and um, you brought, what hand, uh, what round did you break your hand in? In round four. <laughs> um, <laughs> and did you just know instantly you'd broke it? Yeah, I, I felt it immediately. I did, yeah. So I, w I went back to my corner and I told them, yeah, I just broke my hand. And they were like, well, it doesn't matter. You know, you still have your left hand. But I don't know if it was because of the adrenaline or what, but I actually kept on using my right hand. I think there was one round, I think it was round six, that I, I didn't throw my right hand at all. Just, you know, I just used my left hand. Uh, but then I got like an adrenaline kick and I thought, okay, it's not that much time left. <laughs> yeah. So, I it, yeah. <laughs> so they, had to, they had to operate it after because the bone had moved. So I have like a plate now it's with thick screws. I have a quite, quite big scar <laughs> here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wow. All the months after was quite, you know, I, I couldn't use my right hand for three months. Mm. I had to do a lot of exercises to, you know, get my movement back and yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I, I could improve a lot with my left. So you always have yeah. to uh, the positive part. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, silver lining. <laughs> no. Um, and also, I know you said you might have a fight or hopefully have a fight in April. Um, what's your future plan? So do you have a particular um, opponent in mind that you'd like to face? No, um, no, I don't have a particular opponent. Um, I guess it will be like a tune-up fight first and then, you know, hopefully bigger things will come. Um, but one decision that we have taken after the loss against Terry Harper is moving up in weight because I'm fed up with with going that much down in weight. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, when I lost, I thought, OK, now finally I can actually <laughs> move up in weight. <laughs> that that feels quite good. Um, yeah, it feels quite right. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I I I stick to the super featherweight because I, I knew I would get the opportunity to, to fight for the world title and I really wanted that, you know, it, it was a big dream for me. Uh, but, you know, I, I think I still have quite many years ahead of me and uh, I would just like it to be a bit more natural. Uh, yeah. So. yeah. That <laughs> must be fun. Yeah, definitely. And I think that's the worst thing about boxing is making weight. <laughs> I do. Uh, I always feel sorry when I see everyone on the scales and they look so hungry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think 
I think, and I think a lot of women struggles with it as well, you know, because it, yeah. it it's a lot with your mind and yeah, it's yeah. a complex. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so do you have your eyes on anyone in your new weight division or are you just going to wait and see what happens? Yeah, right now I'm, I'm just, you know, right, right now I just want to fight, you know, yeah. just, um, and, and, and after my next fight, I think we can think a bit more, you know, in which direction I should go, you know, so um, I think maybe my next fight will be even in two weight divisions over and just to see how I feel. Um, you know, then maybe I decide to stick to that weight or maybe light weight is okay. Yeah. I will just, you know, take my next fight to see if I feel comfortable and, and after that uh, I'll take a decision. Yeah. But yeah. <laughs> That's it exciting times and then um, one last question now you might have already kind of answered this before but if there was anything in boxing that you could change what would that be oh that's a difficult question <laughs> mm. well being being a female boxer I, I, I would like to change you know the the fact that we we don't have an equal situation between between women and men uh, yeah. so that would be one of them for sure <laughs> yeah definitely and then we'll finish on a positive what is your favorite thing about boxing I guess it's the hard training I love the hard training it gives me such it gives me something special it's like a medicine <laughs> yeah and of course uh, the adrenaline kick that you have when when you when you when you fight you know yeah that's something that you know it, it, it makes you a bit de dependent on on the adrenaline kick <laughs> and it's I, I think it's something that all the fighters really love to to just be up there and and do what we like the most that is fight yeah you know? so the hard training and the adrenaline kick and yeah <laughs> Well, Katie, it's been amazing talking to you. I really, really appreciate your time. I hope you get in the ring soon. I hope you have um, a busy year, get a few fights in, and you uh, find the weight that you're comfortable with as well. Thank you very much. It's, it was very nice talking to you as well. So, <laughs> much and uh, yeah, hopefully speak to you soon. Thank you yeah. very much. Yeah, Thanks. see you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please click like now and subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. Thank you. Bye.